Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 glitches that are still currently working. And before we get into those 10 glitches, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have liked and supported my page. I really appreciate it. And let's try and get 50 likes on this video. And other than that, guys, let's get straight into it. Also, if you want a better explanation of these videos, links to them will be in the description. First up here, guys, we are going to have the ammo glitch. Of course, it's still working and it is easy to do. So what you want to do is get your primary weapon out and then have a secondary weapon with a large magazine. Switch to your primary, fire, and then while you're firing your weapon, just switch to the secondary weapon while holding the fire button. And then switch back to the primary and just empty the clip and you should be good to go. The next one we have is the U mine it glitch where you can use your U mine it map as many times as you want. So to get this one to work, you just go to any U mine vending machine, buy the map, drop one of them on the ground, click no the first time when it pops up, then click yes the second time when it pops up, and then you'll be able to collect it off the ground. And if you did it right, you'll be able to collect the map, plus go to location and collect the loot while still having the map. You can only do this one time per server, so you have to jump servers if you want to do this again. Now if you want a better description of this video and how it works, I will leave a link to the video in the description. I believe Glitch Unlimited was the original poster of this video. And then once you've collected that treasure, all you have to do is just jump servers and do it again. Now, of course, this old three-star sentry bot glitch is still currently working. It is a little time-consuming, but you can farm three-star sentry bot as many times as you want by jumping a server every time. So essentially, all you do is get your power armor out, place it down in a spot where it glitches you out so you can go through the wall, just follow the way I go, and then you can get to the three-star sentry bot. I'm going to speed this up here because it is a little time consuming, so if you have any questions, I'm going to leave a link to the video in the description. So once you've killed the sentry bot, all you have to do is back out, get into another server, and repeat. And of course the magazine glitch is still currently working after the patch, and it still can get you as many magazines as you want. Now I will say that you're going to have to jump servers a few times unless you're lucky and get it on the first try, because I believe it's like a 20% spawn rate. However, you can stay in the same server, fast travel away for a little bit, come back and look again, and it can spawn without actually leaving the server. However, as you can see here, I can pick up the magazine as many times as I want. And all you do for this is when you're clicking on it and about to read it, press the menu button to get into the map, get into photo mode, back out, and then click on it as many times as you want. And of course, the take no radiation damage power armor glitch is still working. All you do is you put your power armor right on the edge of the storm, run into the storm, get out, and you will take no radiation damage. Again, you have to put the power armor right on the edge of the nuked area where you take rads and you don't take rads. So find that edge, place the power armor down right on it, and then just run into the storm, get out, and you'll be good to go. Next up we have the jetpack glitch where you can fly through the air as far as you want. All you do for this one is get on a spike board right at the end, trigger it, and then just slightly tap the jump button. You can pretty much go as far as you want. For the purpose of this video I just showed you a little demonstration, but I will link to the other video in the description. Next up we have the hide and seek and destroy quest where you can get as many nuclear keycards as you want. So once the quest is active, go find the cargo bot, and then you're going to shoot the cargo bot down. Once you shoot the cargo bot down and you're about to collect the nuclear keycard out of it, you just deny the quest, jump servers, and do it all over again. It's really that simple. So 
So once I shot it down here, I'm going to get into my pit boy, go over to data, and it will be under the main quest, leave the quest, and then collect the loot, jump servers, and it will pop back up for you, and you can do it all over again. So as you can see here, I got into a new server and the quest popped right up again for me. The other 3 star sentry bot glitch right here is still working as well. Come to the transmission station, make sure you finish still dawn first for this to work. Go down into this bunker here and then you're going to just kill the sentry bot and then either jump servers or you're going to stay in the same server Fast travel to this location, wait 30 to 40 seconds, go back in, and he will be respawned for you. Now I did notice because I have the Xbox Series X that leaving the server and getting into a new one is almost just as fast as waiting 30 to 40 seconds for it to actually spawn again outside of the base. And also since the update, I noticed that sometimes this glitch doesn't always work now. Sometimes I have to wait a little longer for it to actually respawn the sentry bot. So if you have a really fast PC or you have the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5, you could probably just jump servers and it will honestly probably be just as fast as waiting outside. Because it used to be that you would wait about 20 to 30 seconds outside and the sentry bot would respawn. I noticed that it was not respawning for me until the 30 to 40 seconds, sometimes even more than that. So you can play around with it, see what works for you, and do it that way. The last glitch here is we have the nuked T-Town glitch I call it T-Town just because it's easier to say. Now this glitch is a little bit of a bugger because it sometimes does work and it sometimes doesn't. The more people you have, the better it works. However, I usually almost always get it in my first try. So what I do to get this glitch to work is go to T-Town, get all the ore, collect it all in this little pit here, and then you launch the nuke and almost nine times out of 10, you're going to get one of these glitched ultrasight veins. This is a great XP method to do and farm. It is even better to do with a team because more of the Scorch spawn and you'll get a lot more XP, hence the more Scorch that spawn. Thank you guys so much for... Oh, I just mm, bit my tongue. Whatever, see you guys next time. Freaking tongue, man. Gosh. Press the damn subscribe button already.